The next question to Dr. Sharosh doesn't appear to be very legible. I'll do my best. Which version of the Bible do you accept as authentic? Do you agree with the versions which were removed? 1 John 5, 7, which read, There are three who bear witness in... I don't know what that word reads. It's Lenin, I think. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and that these three are one. Uh, Dr. Shirosh, have you understood that question? This question, ladies and gentlemen, deals with a text that is supposed to be in the text of the scripture called in the proper language of biblical textual criticism, interpolation. That means it is not in the original text. When we talk about the Bible, ladies and gentlemen, I think I need to... But the version is, as the brother was trying to explain, he said that the verse on the Trinity is an interpolation. He said that. Interpolation means something that has been pushed into it which is not supposed to be there. And in the Bible he presented to me, that verse is a part of the text. In other words, now that's a version. You open another book, the Roman Catholic version of the Bible, which is the RSV version, Roman Catholic, they threw it out as a fabrication, that verse. It's a different version. That the scripture is written by eyewitnesses, or people who talk with eyewitnesses. As for my good friend Shabir, how in the world can he judge 2,000 years after the fact what is a part of the Old Testament or New Testament or part of the Gospels or this that added or developed or all that? How can he do that? We removed by 2,000 years and the record we have is... Now Dr. Shirosh has asked us, you know, how do we know that the Bible has been corrupted? There's so many 2,500 manuscripts or it's actually 5,300 of the New Testament. Dr. Shirosh, can I borrow you a copy of the Bible here? Do, do you mind if I just... You have your own. Can I just have a look at yours? Don't you have one? I just need yours. <laughs> Thank you very much. Six of me. You have the authentic <laughs> Bible, Dr. Shirosh. <laughs> Now, the Hebrew and the Greek. This is the New King James Version of the Bible. It contains 1 John chapter 5, verse 7. You're aware of that. You bring that story again. You're aware of that. And you're aware that you have already said in the previous debate that that is a later insertion into the Bible. Why are you carrying a Bible that has a verse that is a forgery? One verse out of tens of thousands. But you admit at least one verse that is a forgery. Not a forgery. And there are Bibles which do not contain that verse. I have them. He could carry those, but he carries the Bible which has the verse, which says that there are three in heaven, and these three are one, because it's a beloved verse, it's hard to part with it. You carry that verse, and yet you ask us, where is there a forgery in the Bible? There it is, Dr. Shirosh. It, it is right there. <laughs> we will see.